In this tutorial, we're going to go over creating your first funnel and your dashboard inside of XFunnels. When you first log in, you're going to see a page that looks exactly like this. It's going to be blurred out here at the top, and it's going to say, oops, you don't have any funnels. And that's okay. I'm going to show you how to create one right now. We are currently on the funnels icon here. So anytime you want to get back to this page, you just need to click on that funnel icon. We're going to come up here to the top click on new and new funnel. The first thing you'll need to choose is the funnel type that you want to create. You have six different funnels you can choose from, but for this tutorial I'm just going to stick with the sales funnel. I'm going to scroll down and click on next. Here you can type in your funnel name you can choose a funnel logo and you can add tags. I'm just going to go down here and create the funnel. Once you've created your funnel and the funnel you choose will determine how many of these pages you actually have, but you can always come down here and add a new step or, or you can remove a step. Once you've created the funnel, you're going to want to come down here and make sure you've created a subdomain. The subdomain must be at least three characters and you'll want to make sure that it's not one that's been used. If it has been used, you'll get an error like this. Oops, the subdomain already exists. So I'm going to go ahead and try another one. And you'll know it's an OK subdomain to use because this button that says submit will turn green. If we remove a letter, it's no longer clickable. So I'm going to go ahead and click Submit and create my subdomain. Now let's go ahead and look at the dashboard. When you come to your dashboard, there's going to be a little walkthrough here that will walk you through all of the different areas of your analytics and statistics that are on this page. So you have your products, contacts, total pages, and visitors. We're going to go ahead and click on Next your generated revenue, orders, and opt-ins, your recently used funnels, your recent activities, graphical representation of how your funnels are performing, and where your customers are around the globe. Now currently, because we just created this funnel, we don't have any customers, which is why you don't see anything here. But once we start getting customers in and generating revenue, we'll see a lot more in this area. If you want to zoom in on the map, you just click on the plus button. And if you want to zoom out, you can click on the minus button. And that's how you'll create your first funnel and how to use your dashboard.